There are two versions of Balrog standing medium punch, far and close. Both close and far medium punch from Balrog rank among the most ridiculous anti airs in the game. Use them. Close medium punch can be used to stop early jumping attempts and some cross up jumps. What makes close standing medium punch from Balrog a useful and unique normal is that it forces the opponent into a standing state, expanding your combo tree and allowing new combo possibilities that aren't available on a crouching opponent. Because you can combo into close standing medium punch from a crouching jab, you can hit confirm jump ins on crouching opponents into a combo ending in heavy upper, which leaves you in a prime position to go for a take throw or frame drop setup. There is a two frame gap between a blocked crouching light punch and the startup of a standing medium punch. Because of this, you can go for the same timing that you would do to combo crouching light punch and the standing medium punch as you would go for the frame trap. This prevents any three frame rolls from breaking through and is very useful for blowing up crouch decks. Close medium punch is also minus two on block. So in case the frame trap does not land, you will not be punished by a match DP or super reversal from most characters. Close standing medium punch into crouching jab is a two frame link, while into standing jab is a one frame link. However, in some instances you may be too far away to combo from crouching jab to stand jab or from crouching jab to crouch medium punch after landing the frame trap. In these instances, it would be preferred to go straight into stand jab into a knockdown. The exception to this is when in the corner and trying to combo to a dash punch. Trying to combo from the stand jab into crouching medium punch will often whiff on most of the cast. For some characters, you simply cannot combo into a crouching medium punch, regardless if you try to attempt from crouching or standing jab. Character-specific combo options are available. Just know your spacing and be able to buffer your charge timing appropriately. In order to combo into a dash punch from a walk forward frame trap with standing medium punch, you must begin buffering your charge immediately upon pressing the standing medium punch, as well as by activating the dash punch on the latest active frame possible of the crouching medium punch. Anything earlier, and you will not have enough charge time in order to get your dash punch. That's all for this bite. If you have any questions regarding this tactic, or ball rock in general, please leave a comment below. Also, any recommendations for future videos would be appreciated. Until next time.